Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Click and play and follow me on Instagram, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. I got my guy with me. Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. Bah! Hey, before we even get into this, man, I want to thank all the people that support this movement, that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing and all of that. So I know a lot of people have been asking me about the bars and about actually rapping, you know what I'm saying? So I put together an intro for a project that I'm going to do with me actually in the studio with my man Scrap. I got some music that's going to come out, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be at the end of this. I'm going to let this happen. And then, you know, you, you can check it out, see, see what, 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 what I'm rapping like. And it is what it is, man. Salute to every single one of y'all. Let's get into this. And if you respect the handle, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That's the way you stay in tune with all of the latest and greatest from me, him, us. Us. We. The gang. I'm upset. Why you upset? Drake cards going down. This is check. Mm. I heard rappers got some really big checks. Uh -huh. And who wins determines who they battle next. Ooh. Okay. And the weekend's coming up, time for them to collect. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. So I just want to just get this out from the start, right? Quite obviously, Murder Mook versus Easy the Black Captains, not happening, you know, for whatever reason. I don't really want to dive too deep into that. Maybe it'll happen on a card coming up. They got some volumes coming up, two volumes in a month. We'll maybe see Easy and Mook, whatever that dupe did he do. But you got Loaded Lux versus Geechee Gotti. I'm going to start right there. Right out the gate. Right, right out the gate. Right I don't really want to waste I no like time. That. I like that. You got Geechee Gotti versus... Nigga, why you ain't held Deontay Wilder out when he was getting his ass whooped? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, you got that. Now, I want to I wanna put this out there. I want to give it to you. Mm -hmm. Geechee Gotti has an opportunity mm -hmm. to not only solidify the West Coast but to solidify himself as like a all-time great. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's already going to be one of the ones. If he never battled again, he'd be considered up there, right? If, if, not, if not first ballot, second. What I will say, right, Hold is Geechee got his run in battle rap in his, let's say, five-year span. He's Nobody has done that. Nobody has done his five-year run. Like, his run... All of the names, all of the accomplishments, all of the acclaim, and transcending yourself to one of the top names, in, to the top name, one of the, all the way up there in Battle Rap. He said versus Lux, mm -hmm. he got 50, and he deserves it. Why doesn't he? If them guys is getting that, he deserves every single dollar he is getting. Mm -hmm. He has not only mastered Battle Rap, mm -hmm. mastered music, mm -hmm. he had a video for Nipsey that did a million views, has a no studio on podcast, has clothing. The prank calls is hilarious. You know, what is he hilarious. not done? And not only has he done that, he's ushered in a whole coast. Now, we've had MCs from the West before. Yes. The, the disasters. You the got the Grand Times, the, the day yeah, all them over the there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But a top tier, consistent mm -hmm. superstar. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. A top tier, consistent superstar. Like, they like to star, you know what I'm saying? But he don't battle as often. Geechee Gotti, this nigga's doing this shit here every other month. Every other month. And sometimes in the same month. And sometimes in the same month. And you know, we're, we, we are we are EFB. Why? Because we do this every fucking blog. You gotta you know understand. <laughs> and I, hold on, I want to continue I want to continue to do this, right? I'm, I'm with you. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be good. <laughs> get, get, yo, sit down, think, make sure you grab your drink. This, this is, is not going to be a five minute joint. Mm -mm. So, you have that. Mastering his craft, mm -hmm. you know, he makes he makes good music. He makes you know he makes themes. He makes and I feel like mm -hmm. you know that came from him. He made it a hot line. I made it a hot song. You know what I'm saying? Like I took it. That's my shit. But this is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. uh, a transcendent figure in battle rap. Mm -hmm. He's battled them all. Mm -hmm. The Sioux Serves. The Rum Nitties twice, the Tay Rocks, the Arsenals, the Ever the New Jersey twice. He's battled them all. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 
He's battling against Loaded Lux. Loaded Lux is to me mm-hmm. him murder move one A one B as far as the biggest names ever. Like you can say what you want about Murder Mook now, wherever he's at, Mook, Mook, but Loaded Lux Murder Mook DVD ever leading up to now, mm-hmm. and Loaded Lux has transcended. He's translated like him versus him and Hollow in a two on two phenomenal. Mm-hmm. You know, and the way that Loaded Lux speaks, he's like, yo, I know what I know what I'm getting into. I know what this is. This is Loaded Lux first time coming down and battling somebody relevant from mm-hmm. this era. He did it in a two on two with Chess was in a two on two with Tay Rock, but mm-hmm. that's not one on one. That's 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 man for man, gun for gun. Like this is we we gonna take ten paces and spin. Let's see what it is. Battle, you know, we battle Verb in Houston. I mean, yeah, you battle Verb in Houston. But Verb is from that era though. Verb is battling outside. I'm not talking about niggas that was battling outside. I'm talking about niggas from right now. Right. right. PG. I'm with Verb. You. The, Lux don't be battling niggas that came out the PGs. Yeah. Gigi Gotti's one of the greatest niggas that came out of the PGs besides uh John John and Don. But anyway, let's get to it. So. People have been asking me, and I'm gonna throw it to you in a second. Mm-hmm. Is this a must-win battle for Loaded Lux? Can Lo- like how does this have to go? How does this play out? What do you see? What is your thought process? It's on you. What's up? The answer is yes. It's and your turn. It's mu- so, so, so I like I like the way you put that on there. You know what I'm saying? And I and I'm and I'm with you on every part of Geechee Gotti's aspect. You know what I'm saying? He was definitely holding a little light on the beloved side. So allow me. I was going back. You saying, got it. Let's, let's go. Let's, let's us not forget that we just had this conversation about nostalgia. Mm-hmm. Lux is one of the names. Mm-hmm. As of right now, Loaded Lux is the in-game boss. Mm-hmm. And the fact that Geechee Gotti has made it to the in-game boss this fast. Yep. Record breaking. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, not, and not, it, At this point... It's damn near deserving for mm-hmm. Geechee Gotti to stand in front of Loaded Lux. Mm-hmm. But let's not forget, is this Loaded Lux versus Geechee Gotti? Or is this Geechee Gotti versus Loaded Lux? He is the top name. This is the man who has transcended the game. He got everybody calling each other beloved. We've been calling niggas beloved for the past 10 years, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, at least, you get what I'm saying? Work. Now when we say you gonna get this work, you gonna get this work till you fire. We, let's not forget, if we are talking about Gichi Gotti and replay value, let's not talk about the one person who has the most replayed battle. Mm-hmm. Period. I'm, I'm not, you know, that's regardless of the, you know, the, the, the millions and on the overseas with the uh the um that with the disaster and um because that one that, that's just out the out the group. But this one here we talking about this one here we're talking about Loaded Lux. Not to mention, Loaded Lux has came back and when he has come back every single time they bring out the pomp and circumstance. When you hear somebody versus Loaded Lux, it ain't no Tony. You don't hear Taco Bell Tony. Mm-mm. This is the the per- if you name the accolades that it takes for Geechee Gotti. You gotta win. You gotta win some belts. Mm-hmm. You, you you gonna have to win some tournaments. You, you gonna have to at least beat names that are credible. Okay, you gonna have to beat the bullies. You gonna have to beat the gatekeepers. You gonna have to beat the bar guys. You everything that Gichi Gotti has done has to be up. I'm sorry. Everything that Gichi Gotti has done has built up to come see Loaded Lux. Mm-hmm. So with all of that being said, this is a must-win battle for Loaded Lux. The reason why I say yes is because Lux has to keep that title of being the end game boss. Mm-hmm. What happens, and this is and this is respectfully, this is all respectful. Let's not forget, Gichi Gotti wins. Mm-hmm. He debatably loses. Some of them are convincing. The way that Gichi Gotti's levels off. When you talk about Lux, his le- his level of art is always debated. Mm-hmm. It's all. And, you got people that I, I think the clearest loss for Lux, other than the murder move on Slaughterhouse, and even then, some people will give that one. Well, Slaughterhouse, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, they're gonna get that a thousand excuses. Move 30 of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it happened. Right. But if you do the mean, median, and the mode, you you take out that battle, Lux still got one of the most debatables. Like, right. I mean, other than Surf. Mm-hmm. But you get what I'm saying? When, when you got, in order for Lux to remain at this state, because there is no ceiling for Lux, he can't go no higher. He has to be at that higher plane. 
But in order to stay at that higher plane, you cannot get clipped by Gigi Gotti. That's no disrespect to Gigi Gotti. Gigi Gotti can be beat. It's hard to beat him, but it's possible to beat Gigi Gotti. And if you don't believe me, ask Calico. Let's do the um, Michael Jordan versus LeBron James comparison. Let's do it. Right? So i seen, you know, the post and everything going on. Gigi Gotti posted it too. And he said, uh, and I quote, uh, he said, what if we got a chance to see MJ in the finals versus LeBron? The closest thing to that, 1030, you know what it is, caffeine URL put together by the boy Drake, saying that, you know, he would be as far as Loaded Lux, Michael Jordan, right. and Gigi Gotti would be LeBron James, right? And 1A, 1B as far as some of the greatest players ever, right? Loaded Lux from a transcending standpoint, mm. has to elevate in this battle. You have to elevate a la Daylight versus Tay Rock. You know what I'm saying? Like, Tay Rock didn't have a bad battle versus Daylight. No. It's just elevation. Elevation creates separation. separation. Mm -hmm. I've said this more than once. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And Loaded Lux's vocabulary and the way he's able to put words together and the way he's able to just break down MCs is top notch. But Geechee Gotti's relevance, his aura, his star power, and what he's able to do every fucking bar yes, sir. is very dominant. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like he's a dominant performer. And he uses current event bars. Anything that happens in the past two or three weeks, Geechee Gotti's gonna have a punchline in it. You think Geechee Gotti's not gonna have pull up with two new 12s, dumping buku shells, the ball head kill a baby like, no. Every fucking bar. Yeah, you mm. think that's not coming? I, I, I know it's coming. Right. I know it's right. coming. Stop and, playing with me. And he, might, he might do a lot better, but you he know what I'm saying. He might do a lot better, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Just saying, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm saying. I'm with you. This is crazy. Uh, this battle itself is is it, it is the conversation that needs to be had. Um, but who you got? Who you got? Very, 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 very tough, difficult decision. But I made a pick in this battle. I picked Loaded Lux winning two one, and I'm gonna stick with my pick respectfully. I mean, Gichi Gotti can win this battle. I'm a huge fan of Gichi Gotti. He's in my intro. That's my guy. We tell everything. I got no issue, you know what I'm saying? But from a nostalgia standpoint, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are we doing? Like, I I, 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 I got a side. And I'm from New York. Like, what am I doing? What's well, I mean, I just, well, I'm going to put it to you like this. Yeah. If we get the same Geechee Gotti that we got versus Calico, mm -hmm. I got Beloved. But if we get the Tay Rock Geechee Gotti, if we get the 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 uh, the New Jersey twerk Geechee Gotti, if we get the rum nitty Geechee Gotti, like if we, there's so many other Geechee. This is a what have you done for me lately type thing, and lately Geechee slipped, but Geechee can get it right back. Right. It's not like he can't. But I'm I'm like you. I'm still holding on to that little bit of nostalgia. It's like. Mm -hmm. This is a lost nigga conversation that Lux is like, and for real, for real, Lux being the supreme boss, this could be like Lux looking at it like, I got the lost nigga boss. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, if I could save you, I could save everybody, nigga. You know what I'm saying? This keeps, this keeps that hope alive. Mm -hmm. That, that certain legends you can't bother. Mm -hmm. Because then it feels like, I don't know, cause I well, cause I don't want to spoil nothing, but it's kind of like it's like watching your superheroes die. You don't mm. want to see that happen. But in Infinity War, it had happened. You know what I'm saying? It's like a now what? Who who can step up? And if that happens, Geechee Gotti can reign supreme. But does this mean that Geechee Gotti can now automatically go up to the astral planes and and not be called unless it's time to be called? He could do that. But due to all of the work ethic that he's been putting in as of right now, he not going to take that title just yet. There's only one other person that could probably do that. Mm -hmm. 
And then, you know, like, you Thank know, you. And, but Loaded Lux has so many angles and so many ways that he can go at it too, you know what I'm saying? Like, if he comes with the gray hoodie, if he comes with the suit, if he comes with, you know what I'm saying? I like, want the suit. And you know, oh, I, you know, you know, he he could, but I need Loaded Lux in that super super bag. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. You know. Yeah, he going at time out took the divine route. Mm. I had to make it dark since they couldn't bring light out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like the divine, divine, mm -hmm. the, the divine route. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I had to get dark on this nigga since they couldn't bring light, light out. out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. They had me battling a nigga from Comp Ten. Told him I need my Comp Ten. And if I, even for me to take this conversation, I needed a comp 10. Like, I need that. I need. And after I kill you, what's my comp then? <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. You can have those. You can have those. Like, that, that, that. I'm just saying. What's, what, what, what ah, yeah. Mm. What's next? Fire phenomenal battle. And I know this is going to be one of them ones. Mm -hmm. Uh, next, but, you know, let's just go right, keep it moving. Let's do it. Uh, T-Rex versus Rum Nitty. I still have T-Rex uh, uh, clearly, clearly uh, walking into this battle and walking out of this battle upset. I'm just saying, it's Rum Nitty, bro. It's Rum Nitty, dog. Like, let's... But they battled before, though. So? <laughs> that happened? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. and he lost, right? Yeah. Okay, what happens to Rum Nitty? Rum Nitty probably still want to catch wreck with Sean. I'm just saying. I'm... Yeah. Rum Nitty wants the perfect goal. And this is Nitty. He, he goat chasing. You know what I'm saying? Even though him and Hollow, he, he gotta he gotta do something, and I feel bad for Rex. Mm -hmm. I do, I really do, cause I really feel like Romney is going to beat the dog. Like whatever Easy did, or whatever's left of what Easy did to Rex, mm -hmm. that's what's left for Romney. And Romney, yeah, Romney right now is just a dangerous MC. Uh, very high powered, able to punch, able to get crazy with the bars. Uh, you know, Rex from a nostalgia point, he does have a lot of history and things like that. But yeah, I know you've said I've got blinded by nostalgia. I'm not blinded. Anymore. I got <laughs> Romney winning. Crazy. <laughs> I got Romney winning every round of this battle. But Romney lost the read. You know what I'm saying? The nostalgia. I, I, I had to let go of my nostalgia too. Cause I, I I I watched that happen. So Rex got a he got like a look he got like a little window like it's like it's, a ninety ten. It's a little that window small, but you can do it, Rex. I got faithy. I got ninety ten. Uh, Rum Nitty. Uh, New Jersey twerk versus Tay Rock. Mm. Uh, you know mm. you you you, you mm. had your comments in the last joint. New Jersey twerk wasn't feeling, but mm. you know what? You know we don't we don't get paid for feelings. We get paid for facts. So, mm -hmm. you know, him versus Tay Rock is about to happen. I have a lot of admiration for both MCs as far as lyrical ability when they're on their A game. Mm -hmm. I know Twerk said he wants to remove the if factor. Mm -hmm. Well, here's your chance to do it. Yep. You need to bring three rounds versus Tay Rock. I mean, the, the, the stats make themselves what they are, but uh, I did see him in the Loso battle. He brought some shit in that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Him versus Chess, you know, he he, he, went, he, he did good in that. And, you know, we, we'll have to see. I'm, I'm only judging things from the highest perspective because it's like this. You know, New Jersey's work is a huge fan of Tay Rock. He said he's been watching Tay Rock for years, and I believe him. We all have. He's battling in front of Drake. You should, ex you should expect three rounds from every MC here. Mm -hmm. Nobody's gonna play with that type of opportunity. You know what I'm saying? There's only six battles on this card, and there's uh, 12 MCs who are getting a chance to do something that not many people will ever get a chance to do. Facts. So with that being said, I don't see anybody playing. With Tay Rock, Tay Rock always levels up to the level of competition. You know what I'm saying? Like he's, whenever he's got an MC that people think he's not gonna beat or he's not gonna do well against, he steps it up. You know what I'm saying? He did it versus Ferb. He stepped up. He did it versus Chilla Jones. He stepped up. He did it versus Daylight. He stepped up. Daylight went to another planet, but he still stepped up. Him versus Mook, he stepped up. So I see a lot of the same. Uh, Twerk definitely has a, a, a electric ability in order to just say different words and say things like that. We've heard 1.8 million Tay Rock caution tape lines. He could say one. I could even get caution tape. The niggas would still go crazy. Like nobody else has said this shit before. He just has that type of ability. Oh. And in this battle, I think it's gonna be very interesting. Um, what's your thoughts, man? Without you know, I want to say this with the deepest sincerity of my heart. Okay. I said what I said. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say it again, cause I said what I said. But allow me to give you a little bit more insight, cause sometimes you gotta be. 
I gotta give y'all more. Cause it sounds like hate, right? Mm -hmm. It can only sound like hate when it comes from a person that feels something could be better. You get what I'm saying? Somebody who is a fan, okay? And for the longest time, I've always been a New Jersey twerk fan. Facts. I've always been there. I'm heavy energy. Mm -hmm. So of course I love battle rappers that got that energy. I love wittiness. Mm -hmm. So of course I love battle rappers that give me a witty word. You mean to tell me somebody who could take a word and break it into a sentence and make it sound fire? And it, you mean to tell me somebody who has transcended the game? Everybody raps like this. Everybody does it when they do this. And they gotta do this. Mm -hmm. And I'm moving my hands like this. You transcended the game. You invented a different type of crossover. But the same love I got for Allen Iverson is the same hatred that I got for Allen Iverson when he went to the Nuggets. Same hatred I got when he went to the uh, when he went to the Pistons. It wasn't his choice, but it was still the fact that he felt that he was bigger than any team he was on. And right. that is my biggest issue with New Jersey twerk because he knows how amazing he is. Mm -hmm. He knows how great he is, and yet still sometimes you like to play with that talent. Here's where it comes around though. When you have somebody standing in front of you that you are at somewhat a little bit of ability that can smoke you, that hurts your ego just a little bit, and that's what makes you go harder. That's the reason why he had to go so hard against Loso. That's the reason why he had to do that stand-up performance versus chess. That's the reason why he had to go ham against uh uh um, um you were hanging uh, against Arsenal. Uh, against Arsenal. Thank you. That's you what I'm saying. That's New Jersey. When I mean, you got, uh, when you, shotgun yeah, I'm saying, When you got somebody. Averb, small yeah, intestine. You see what I'm saying? And not to mention, he had to show up. Not, and then, the very first battle that me and you recap together. I'm over the body with the hoodie down. Mm -hmm. let's, let's keep it real here. Let's keep it real. I've been a fan and watching him since day one. But I've also been a big fan of Tate Rock. And I've also seen Tay Rock show out and show up every single time. I've also seen Tay Rock give three rounds against a crazy round. Like three crazy amazing rounds. And you still can be like, all right, hold up. All right, now, all right, now that I've set that aside, all right. They like one, but I still like Tay Rock's material. All right, all right, Mook one, but I still like Tay Rock's material. Like, it's the same thing with Tay Rock. Why? Because it's consistency. So I can't go against somebody who's been the most consistent, the most dangerous, and the next person who can be held at the top tier. After New Jersey twerk, who's out there for Tay Rock? Is this, is we, I mean, that's different things, but yeah, I feel you. After New Jersey twerk, it's, it's pro like you got every single explosive person that Tay Rock is, is under the belt. You got your Hitman Hollis, you got your Shines, you got you got everybody for Tay Rock to go to that astral plane. For that, that token alone, Rock, you can, I gotta go with him to win. Because once he does that, he goes right back up to that level where nobody can touch him. I don't want nobody to see me. He can now be just as well as his gun titles partner. Don't send me no fucking kids. Uh, with this one, it, like I, I do have rock, but I have him for the, a reason you didn't name. Uh, fear of being killed. He knows the ability of New Jersey to work. He knows what he brings. He knows the levels that he can go to. And he said he was the, every time he seen somebody who he felt like could get crazy with him, mm. he that was the person that he wanted, and that's to put a little bit of fear in it. Not fear from a negative perspective, but mm. fear from like, yo, I gotta get crazy with him. Yeah. He did it with chess. Come on. He did it with Rock. <laughs> he yeah, did it with Daylight. Like, he did it with Jez. Like, fucking, uh, you ever had to break a bottle to make a knife out of it? I doubt I it. I doubt it. I doubt <laughs> That's still one of his craziest performances. You know what I'm saying? And he just know, and he knows what he's Clips. getting into. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ever a bando, uh, ill have a, will, nah, the steel will. Oh, like, my God. On, they was, they was, when they were doing will. that, I was like, all right, I'm with y'all. But the one is my favorite one. Don't talk about who beat me. Until you beat until me. Until you beat me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on. Andy versus JC. Rock got one of the clearest wins versus JC. You know what I'm saying? Man. I'm banging on the machine like my dollar stuff. But I will say this. Uh, <laughs> does New Jersey, New Jersey work has a very good chance to win this battle. It would yeah. do a lot for him. You know what I'm saying? It would really... If he really, really brings his A game and, and comes on so and was wild, mm -hmm. it could do a lot for him. To me, this is really my battle of the night. I mean, I have both doing a yeah, lot. And this it is, could the, very this is the no-brainer. This uh, is the no-brainer. This could be the battle of the night. But um, best of luck to both MCs. Absolutely.
Sue Surf versus Calico. Calico, Calico, Calico. Um, again. Again. <laughs> uh, obviously, they did battle before, but mm -hmm. now they're battling on the stage where it counts. Mm -hmm. um, exactly. Sue Surf comes off of a phenomenal three round battle with John John and Don. Mm -hmm. Calico comes off of a battle with Geechee. Guys, they're battling in the same amount of time. Mm -hmm. um, I know Sue Surf has been, you know, very held to a high regard as far as with his music career and the things that he's able to do. And people, you know, they don't play games as far as his preparation and things like that in previous battles. But my motto, you only good as the last nigga you killed, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I definitely have him bringing some shit versus John John and Don. Mm -hmm. Calico is an MC who does not lose battles very often. Like he has a high, high retention rate, and he brings it normally in most of his battles. He is a wizard. Uh, he is literally <laughs> he is a, a wizard. wizard. But uh, how you feel about this? What you think? I don't know, man. This battle is like to me. It's not. It's not. All right. On paper, it's crazy. For nostalgia reasons, it's crazy. But due to the last current things, it's not like high on my list of battles that I want to see. Right. Now, also, I mean, I also wasn't too excited to see uh, Calico versus Hitman Holler and looked at how that came about. You know right. what I'm saying? It still ended up being the most talked about that weekend. So it's like, it's not like Calico can't give us a crazy performance. It's not like Sue Surf can't give us a crazy performance. Mm -hmm. It is a what have you done for me lately. But I just feel like there's nothing that either one, if, if one beats the other, what does that do for the other? Mm -hmm. They're both already at the legendary status. Like they're already at that call me, you know, call me when there's a certain name available. Right. So the fact that there's both of them going up against each other, uh, I don't know. Like I said, I just I feel like the lack of motivation is there. Can mm -hmm. this battle be crazy? Yes. But man, gun to my head, I gotta make a choice. I, I I'm a, I think I'm gonna have to go with Calico on this one. Mm. I dare I think I'm gonna go with Calico on this one. It's it's still it's the same thing with it's the same thing with Surf. So I'm holding Surf to the same uh, regard as, as New Jersey's work. I want I, I got I I saw what you did last time. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. Do it again. And mm. that's how I feel. That, that's with Calico. It was like all right, all right. You did with the, all right. That one we can debate. This one. You you really can't debate if this one is clear as day, Cal. Uh, there's no hate. There's the, you are a, an amazing rapper. You know what I'm saying? Wherever you do, when you battle, you are cooking. Mm -hmm. I feel like Calico can win this time. And then not to mention, if I remember the last time, Calico has to at least even the score because mm -hmm. I think Surf won that battle. If I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe he won that battle. Mm -hmm. So. If Sue Surf is going to do it again, I need to see it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not even going to draw it out longer than it needs to be as far as this battle is concerned. Both MCs perform at a high level. Uh, both are able to bring it when necessary. Hitman, Calico was fire. Uh, Sue Surf, John John was fire. Calico, Gigi was fire. Both of them have their own ways of doing things. Both are dope MCs. 2-1 either way is an easy way to go about this. I mean, what can I do? That's just my way to cash that in, you know what I'm saying? I got a 2 1 either way. I'm going to go with that. I'll allow it. Jazz the Rapper versus Young Gaddis. Mm. Or Gaddis. It's just Gaddis. It's just Gaddis. She's, she's grown. You know, she's like for how Jeezy went from Young Jeezy to she's just Jeezy. Right. Gaddis went from Young Gaddis to just Gaddis. You know, Lil Wayne went from Lil Wayne to just Wheezy and things like that. This is the. He still go by Lil Wayne. This is just Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Or Kanye went from Yeezy to just Ye. Mama named him Kanye. I'm gonna call him Kanye. Kanye. <laughs> uh, I feel you know, like you know. Uh, Jazz the rapper hasn't battled since before Dr. Dre put out his last album. Facts. You know, you know, that was a, 2001. You know yeah, it's been it's been a, it's been a month of Sundays yeah. since the last time we've seen it. Uh, Gaddis has battled. You know, she's battled pretty often. She's mm. got a rapid flow. She's able to use high energy. She beat official. You know what I'm saying? Clearly. She's busy. Yeah, clearly. Clear. It's tumbling, fumbling, choking, and joking. And uh, I think Gaddis' battle versus official was kind of what predicated to this battle. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because, you know, a lot of people wanted to see uh, Jazz versus Misfit. Mm -hmm. And that battle, I don't know what's up with that. I, I have no idea, and I'm not trying to spec you hate. Because, like, it's not speculate. Mm. When you put spec you and hate, it's like you're speculating, but then you're hating at the same time. So it's spec you hate. It's a reach, but it I is. I feel like is. Misfit kind of blew the blew the whistle beforehand when she said what Jazz does for a living. Yeah. That would have been the angle for the battle that would have occurred. But 
it just it just never happened. So now you got this. Uh, I know what Jazz is able to do. Um, Jazz is very lyrical. Mm -hmm. She's able to break down opponents. She's able to use bars, punches, and she's got a charismatic flow. Mm -hmm. You know, she's very current event. She she you know she gets busy with her shit. And yeah, and Jazz hasn't battled in a while. And she's battling in front of Drake. Jazz is probably gonna have one of her better performances that we've ever seen. Oh yeah. The battle. It's over to you now. How you feel? I like the battle. I was liking the battle when it was coming about. I like the battle the way it was building up. Shout out to my brother just to check the temperature. He had both Jazz and Gaddis on there. They both was talking spicy on the show mm. about each other. So like, you know, it, I like everything that's leading up to this. Mm -hmm. And now that it's happening right now, man, I, I don't know. I, I, I also feel like uh, with Gaddis is because she has uh, more relevant material at this point. But Gaddis also has that legendary status where she could sound a little outdated sometimes. But mm -hmm. the only way she's been tweaking that is she's been a judge for uh, literally the last Ultimate Madness. So tapped mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. She's all the way tapped in. So it's not like she's lost lost with the culture. Oh, uh, she wasn't on a, a, she, her other battle. Oh, may, she might have some ring rust. No, I had a I had a one on one. I had a, a one off with Caution, and I had a three battle. I had three rounds with Official. Let's not forget, I was over. King of the Dot, I did it. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like I've done all of this while you were gone. Mm. It's kind of one of the things for Jazz is Jazz going to have to own why do you does this. You're going to have to show us that you does this. You like to address things when it's time to. Mm -hmm. Miss Lady, it's time to. Right. I need oh, you to be man. in your prime too. Ooh. I don't want you to be that times two. I need you to times two. Go. That times two. Go. You understand what I'm saying, Jess? This isn't the same return versus E Heart. This ain't this ain't that. Like this ain't that and that ain't this. See, that was on a born legacy. You know what I'm saying? We just wanted to see if you 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 could rock. My lady. This Drake we talking about, Jazz. This 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 Drake, I I, I know you understand. I I get that. But Gaddis understands this very well. Who you got winning? I'm cashing I'm cashing mine in either way. Yeah. Aww, yeah. That's yeah. I got to. For the ladies, yes, because I'm fans of both and I wanna sit back and I wanna watch this. I gotta sit back and watch this. Get yep. some man. Yep. But you get your big <laughs> Oh my god. Alright man, I gotta pick. I'm gonna go with Jazz 2-1 just off the strength that uh, this is Young Gaddis' biggest battle. Mm -hmm. It's her biggest battle. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's the biggest battle. It's not Jazz's biggest battle. No. You know, your future's my past. I've been here before. Granted, Gaddis did battle Hustle in front of Kiss. Mm. But this is bigger. This is, this is bigger. And just say I'm just throwing it. It ain't right. And you know, <laughs> Gaddis is still you know like she could clearly win this. Don't get it fucked up. Mm -hmm. But from the picking perspective, ah, uh, Jazz, if Jazz come back and Sorry. she don't deliver in this one, oh my God, they're gonna go crazy. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna it's gonna be what the, the like the young heads say. It's mm -hmm. gonna be up there. All that for this. And all that for this. It's mm -hmm. gonna be up there and stuck there. Mm -hmm. Uh. <laughs> That is what the kids say. That's what the kids say. <laughs> Old hair bars. Facts. Uh, Pat Stay versus Real Sick. Mm. Uh, hold on. I, wanna, I got a question. Right? Go ahead. Over and under. Is it over three or under three? New New Nails Beastly Bars for the event. Over or under? This is a good bet. We can do this. Simple oh, bet. Let's bet okay. a um, We bet a bottle. Light bottle on it. Yeah, over yeah. or under? I'm going to definitely say over three. It's going to be over three. So if it's over three, I buy you the bottle. Right. And but if, if it's, it's under, under three, three, you buy me the bottle. I buy me, yeah. Yep. Yeah. We still gonna drink at the same place. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah we're gonna but be. But over and under. Yeah, so you go I'm, over? I'm gonna go over. Oh shit. I'm gonna go over all right, because you gotta also look at you gotta look at the people that's on the card, mm -hmm. their freestyle abilities. Mm -hmm. Then not to mention this happened this week, so Oh yeah, niggas <laughs> They got a little bit of time. The face-offs was already over, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, have yeah. you mean? Like, I got nothing but time. Okay. Um, Shit. What? Rock might have one. I'm just saying, like. Pat stay. Oh, he gonna have, yeah. Shit. Pat gonna have one out the gate. If that's the first battle, yes, Pat's gonna have that. Well, Pat stay versus Real Sick. Uh, Real Sick 
Uh, dope to see him make this card. Uh, like, you know, he's one of the leaders of the new school. Like, it was dope to see Easy the Black Captain make some of Madness. Yeah. It was dope yeah. to see Luke Castro make some of Madness. Yeah. Now it's dope to see Real Sick make this card. Uh, it's good to see these guys getting in front of big crowds, in front of big names, mm -hmm. and getting big looks and opportunities. Real Sick, I'll tell you this. From his inception, he has not played with any of his opportunities. He's always brought fire bars, material. He bodied Danny Myers. He had some other dope battles. He beat B-Magic. Like, I can just name on and on and on what he does. You know what I'm saying? Um, lyrical presence, cadence, wordplay, phenomenal schemes, able to punch. He's got a little bit of it all. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's got his own brand. He's got his own look. And he's able to do things at a high level. Pat Stay, phenomenal MC. Mm -hmm. You know, he hasn't battled in a little minute. The last time I think I seen him was versus k Shine. Yep. Might have been. Uh, and that wasn't the greatest battle, but it was on like the set of Sesame Street outside. I wasn't feeling that whole look anyway. But now you got these two battling against each other. What's up, man? What you think? I'm not going to lie to you. Um, going by those uh, stats that you said, is that Rosick doesn't play with any of his competition. Mm -hmm. Even this little thing that he does with the flow, because you always want to rhyme when you go. I just want to say my name is Show. Anyway, it's hot, but Pat Stay is the all-around rapper. Like, I'm not saying Pat Stay can out-rap real sick, but let's not act like Pat Stay can't rap. Like, he could definitely rap. He's rap with the best of them. And if we talk about rapping, he rap, rap, rapping, he rap, comes from King of the Dot, and that's all. Even his nerves, no gun bars. Rapping, he rap. All that. Okay, what else? Stage presence? You think Real Sick got stage presence? He does, but at the same time, if he loses that stage presence against the crowd, like if the crowd's against him, right. it's going to be another ab situation. Mm -hmm. Real, Real Sick has a lot to learn in this type of a situation, whereas a lot of my, car, my, my chips are towards Pat Stead because he is more crafted. Like, mm -hmm. he is a, he's a legend. Mm -hmm. A lot of, it's a lot of, it's a lot of legends, legends type battles on this card, which mm -hmm. makes sense. Not to mention, you know, King of the Dot, uh, uh, I mean, not King of the Dot, Canada, uh, Canada, you know what I'm saying, Past Day, Drake, right there, that's all love, you know he gonna show up and show up for his boy, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, that's gotta be the thing, Past Day might come out here in the craziest suit, mm -hmm. like it, he can do stuff that will make you forget, oh, you battle Kayshawn, oh, well, you know what I'm saying, it's not Kayshawn is the fan, but the, the battle is, gets fanned away, cause they're like, yo, did you see what he did first, real sick. Because it can be just as incredible before. Let's not forget, this ain't Pat State's first time on URL. Mm -hmm. You saw what happened the first time on URL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You second time, you battle Shug. You know what I'm saying? Like, so he has a battle with Sean, and it's like, mar, mar, what have you done for me lately? No, I still remember. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to just say I got hat with a slight edge if the crowd goes against Rosick. I'm going with just lyrical ability. Uh, straight flows, presence, pocket material. I got real sick with the upset. I don't blame you for that. Like, it's not a bad choice. I got real sick, man. I got real sick. The real sick has not had a disappointing performance. No. I don't think I've no. ever seen a disappointing one. No. I got real sick being closer to Danny Myers real sick than anything else. I mean, <laughs> alright, I do got real sick losing against Kid Chaos. Was it in the tournament? That was no, that yeah. wasn't the tournament. Remember, it was like it was the it was in the tournament, but it wasn't oh, yeah, the tournament yeah, yeah, battle. Yeah, yeah. It was the after because that's mm -hmm. the one where K Chaos did a default drain. That was hot. That was fine. But I'm saying it. That's the only time where real sick might have got chipped. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know him versus Chilla. You can debate that, but at the same, I got Chilla in that one too. But it ain't like one of the things where he's like, oh, he lost. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Ed. I can debate that. I gotta get that. You know what I'm saying? It's you gotta. Say why he didn't do it, but it was because of those reasons why I had the other person winning against Real Sick is why I would have that stay winning against Real Sick. Mm -hmm. It's it's a more well roundedness to me. Mm. So. Okay. Well, either way, we watching man. Till death do us part. I got this together because <laughs> like I just like the I like how why they had the smooth playing in the background. Like you supposed to have like a glass of Cavassier. Mm -hmm. I put this together, this card together, because. I put this card together because it was it was the conversation that can now become reality. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh shit. I want that nigga to sing so bad. It was hilarious. Yeah, man. So overall, dope card. 
I've seen people, you know, with the positive and negative commentary and things like that. But it is what it is. It's going down. It's too late, you know, uh, till death do us part. We're going to definitely be recapping, talking our shit. Yeah. You already know what it is, man. Gang! But did I lose a step, though? One more, one more. I like, I like the, the bounce though. It's got like the. Like that shit was like, like, like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Slap. Yeah, slap, just slap something wild. Ooh, like what you need? What you mean? I ain't no rapper. I told him I said I ain't no rapper. I said I'm a bubble rapper, and so you know I had to go ahead and give him a little, little rap right quick. Scrap on the track. What's the what's the uh, what's your tape called, man? Last of a dying breed. Oh, okay. You know, last of a dying breed. That's that. That's fire, man. I just wanted to put that vibe out there. You know what I'm saying? I had to just give you a little a little touch, man. What, what, what you pulled out? What's what's next? What's next for you? Ooh, spooky season. This is nasty work right here, too. By the way. I be on the block, yeah, you know I'm pitching. How would you know about paid shows or rollies with the face rolls or meeting your connect in locations without paid rolls? Them ratchets gonna need 10 of them. I'm bagging up with criminals. The moves we made, they came with mandatory minimum. 12 hour trips, birds stuck in a fender. A nigga worst nightmare is a public defender. If I told you where I'm at, you wouldn't try me, nigga. Cause you're scared to take a shot. You got that Kyrie in your mouth. One more, one more. Was a vented poor, now it's a vented doors. Butterfly wings, you see me stepping out them vented doors. I'm in the war, so I suggest you don't play me close. For I'm on your corner with that coat like I'm Xavier Rose. Call the label up just to see what they offer me. Put magic in that pot like I'm DJ Augustine. Don't listen, I had to stoop clicking. James Harden, five rules, I make niggas shoot different. Woo! Usually got hard white, yellow, or brown. Tan's my fourth option like Carmelo is now. All white pounds, <laughs> Niggas thought I lost my style Well, you don't like the shit I'm talking Cut it off right now Uh, I'm so relentless When it comes to foes and business I will go door to door like Jehovah Witness Masked up six feet You know that social distance I'm masked up six feet You know I hold yeah. shit I'm the best I put them bundles in the air Like I'm AliExpress Woo. See 